If you are learning how to draw resonance structures, don't make the common mistake of moving electrons too far away from their original atom. For example, if I wanted to de delocalize this lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen, they need to stay associated with the nitrogen atom. They can't jump all the way over to the carbon. This means if you're delocalizing a lone pair of electrons, your only option is to convert it to a double bond or a triple bond that is associated with that original atom. And in this case with our nitrogen, our only option is to make a nitrogen carbon double bond like this. Now, if you're delocalizing a double bond or a triple bond, you do have a couple of options. One option is to convert the double or triple bond into a lone pair that is on one of the two atoms of the original double bond. In this example with this carbon-carbon double bond, I could convert the double bond into a lone pair on either one of the carbon atoms. I'm going to choose to convert the double bond to a lone pair, uh, carbon on the left-hand side. That's just my personal choice and my resonance structure would look like this. Your other option for delocalizing a double or triple bond is to just convert it into a new double or triple bond as long as it involves one of the two original atoms. So in this case, if we wanted to delocalize this double bond using this method, we would just move it over to the other side of the molecule. That way the double bond continues to be associated with the carbon in the center of the molecule and the electrons haven't moved away from their original atom.